The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University. English artist William Hogarth's A Harlot's Progress is a series of six prints that depict the struggle of a country girl turned prostitute in 17th century England. The print series belongs to the Michael C. Carlos Museum. Before going on display, all six prints were treated in the museum's Parsons Conservation Lab under the supervision of paper conservator Elizabeth Schulte. In any conservation treatment, it is important to begin by documenting the condition of each object and to carefully examine the fragility of the media. The prints of a harlot's progress were previously bound and display some water staining, foxing, and discoloration along with several tears. This discoloration is acidic in nature and lowers the pH of the paper. To treat this discoloration, we immerse the paper in the water bath. This may seem shocking, but the properties of paper allow it to be treated in this way. The plates of a harlot's progress were printed on wove paper, a common support for many artworks. It is made by pressing fibers together in a screen and then allowing them to dry. These fibers are typically cellulosic, though they can come from other sources. Cellulose is a polysaccharide composed of a linear chain of D-glucose units. It is not soluble in water. Prior to bathing, we used fragments of grated eraser and a soft brush to remove surface soil. If this soil is not removed, it can become embedded within the fibers during bathing and can further discolor the print. Solubility testing is a crucial secondary step of the treatment process. We cannot assume that the ink is oil-based just because it is black. Printer ink, pastels, and watercolors are just a few of the media that can dissolve in water. We tested the solubility of the ink using two wet methods and a dry method. When we rolled over the surface of the print with a dry cotton swab, a small amount of the black ink came off mechanically. This told us that the surface of the print was richly inked. A drop of water was carefully applied to the surface in a discrete area. It was immediately blotted and no additional ink came off in this process. From these tests, we concluded that the ink was indeed an oil-based ink, making it stable enough to be treated in a water bath. To prepare the bath, we filled a large flat-bottomed tray with warm distilled water. The warmth of the water served to increase the rate of the reaction. The pH of distilled water is typically 7.0. But to create a slightly alkaline environment, we raise the pH to 8.5 by adding ammonium hydroxide, a weak base whose salts are soluble in water. The print was washed for approximately 20 minutes. A polyester film was used to support the print as it was bathed. Approximately every five minutes, we agitated the bath. This diffused the discoloration so that it did not settle on top of the print. The reason that it is useful to raise the pH of the water is an application of Le Chatelier's principle. Le Chatelier's principle states that when a chemical system at equilibrium is stressed, it reattains equilibrium by undergoing a net reaction that reduces the effect of the disturbance. As the acidic paper system is placed into a slightly basic bath, the system will work to counteract the disturbance. Acidic discolorations are driven out of the softened paper structure and into the bath water. Therefore, the pH of the system reaches a new equilibrium. This treatment effectively brings the pH of the paper closer to a neutral value, while also removing unsightly discoloration. It simultaneously strengthens the paper structure by re-establishing hydrogen bonds. A second sheet of polyester support was placed on top of the print, and it was removed from the water in a sort of sandwich. The print was placed upside down on a blotter to dry. As the print dried, any remaining discoloration was drawn from the front of the image to the back by capillary action. After the bathing, the prints were flattened and their tears mended. They are planned for exhibition at the Carlos Museum. Though the process of bathing a print seems daunting, 
It is the application of a few fundamental chemical principles. This program is brought to you by Emory University.